Um, I went to like a small liberal arts school in Boston um, and I was getting really overwhelmed with classes and just needed some sort of outlet uh, that wasn't just reading textbooks 24-7. Uh, and I started watching Bob Ross. Every time I tell someone, they're like, oh, really? Like, Bob Ross is what got you into painting? I'm like, yes, absolutely. He made me feel like I could do anything. And so I picked up a brush and I started painting and then I just kind of had a stop. And it was really disheartening to be going to school having no idea why you're there and paying so much money to be there. Um, and so painting was really what got me through that first year in school. And then I dropped out after that year because I was like, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And uh, then I, you know, worked some odd jobs for a little while and then I uh, started working at the college um, and started going to school for um, liberal arts and then creative writing and one day I would really really love to write my own book and then illustrate it as well like that's my that's my life goal so now I have um, this close to a degree in one thing that I love and I've really started to get things running with uh, painting the other half of what I love so win-win I think. This is where uh, all my work is so it's like my food and my um, animal paintings some of the more uh, popular stuff that I do. It's kind of a little space, um, but I have a lot of little stuff, so it works out. So I've always been a really big animal lover, and painting animals is sort of one of the ways that I can appreciate them. I think that animals make great subjects because you can get some really dynamic or really majestic poses from them. Um, so I really enjoy painting owls and uh, birds. Um, they're fun animals to uh, paint because their feathers have a lot of texture. They have really unique and interesting eyes. Everyone is a little bit different. They're also very recognizable. So no matter how bad I paint, someone will be able to be like, that's a bird. Nailed it. I'm kind of a sci-fi fantasy enthusiast, um, so I'll do like knight's helmets or potion bottles or wizard's towers, I don't know. Whatever, I paint literally whatever my, whatever I feel like that day. The community as a whole, um, they really seem to enjoy um, seeing all different kinds of art, so um, even if some of my stuff is a little bit unconventional, they get excited to see it because it's not something they've seen a hundred times. Although every once in a while you get someone who uh, looks at it and goes, ooh, I don't like that. Which, you know what? They're gonna remember it. They're gonna remember the art that I didn't like. And maybe it'll come up in conversation with someone else who would be interested. I saw this artist and she did skulls and I thought it was really gross. Skulls? Really? Do you remember the name of the artist? So it kind of stands out a little bit. I have my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok handle. It's my nickname, so it's Bval and then underscore uh, artwork. Uh, so Bval artwork. Um, and you know, I try and keep things uh, as up to date as I can. Um, I got a lot of things in the works, so there'll be more stuff coming soon.